Well, in our latest study, we looked on the influence of uh, lactobacillus reuteri on gingivitis and plaque control in pregnant women. And therefore, we selected a sample of pregnant women at the end of their second trimester who were willing to participate in the study. And the study design was a double-blind placebo-controlled trial. So we didn't know whether we were giving uh, the, the active lactobacilla to the women or whether they just received the placebo treatment. And the placebo consisted of lozenges which contained lactobacilla reuteri in a fairly high concentration. And the, the women were asked to consume them twice a day during the rest of their pregnancy until the birth of their child. And within three days after birth, we came in and uh, re-examined them. And the parameters we were looking on were the typical parameters for gingival inflammation. That is, once the, the gingival index is a fairly old index, and which shows how much inflammation is on the gums, and the second parameter was plaque index, because we know that there's a, a strong correlation between plaque and gingival inflammation. That, that means normally the more plaque you have, the more inflammation you have. And we also uh, just recorded an index to see how much plaque there was on the teeth. And we just looked on six specific teeth, the so-called Renfield teeth, which are representative for the mouse. And we didn't give them any recommendations or training for oral hygiene. It was just really giving them the, the lozenges to, to consume. And at the end of the study, we made some really interesting or found some really interesting results because we saw that during the, the three months period in the test group, the gingival index really was cut into one third, which is really dramatic. So basically in the test group, gingival inflammation was completely gone or almost completely gone, only mild uh, gingivitis was in some women still present with in the control group. There also was sort of a reduction as you would expect because during the, the third trial, the trimester of pregnancy, the, the values go down a little bit, but it was not really significant from a statistical point of view. And, and when looking on, on the plaque control, that was even more uh, astonishing that also both groups had at baseline the, the same amount of plaque. They were not really a proper oral hygiene. They had a rather sloppy oral hygiene, but we didn't give them any instructions. And at the end of the study, again, in the test group, who was using the rotary lozenges, the plaque index, the, the mean plaque index, was cut also again into one third. There was a dramatic improvement in, in plaque control. Meanwhile, in the control group, nothing changed that would be significant. So our data suggests that besides proper oral hygiene, which is still the recommendation number one, of course, in pregnant women, or not only in pregnant women, each of us should brush <laughs> twice a day the teeth with a toothbrush and toothpaste, and thus avoid gingival inflammation. But in those who are more at risk, and uh, women during pregnancy are more at risk for gingival inflammation, those who have the higher risk, they, that's what we think, will benefit from the the consumption of those probiotic lactobacillus.